Hello you guys, it is Ava and today I'm going to be doing my everyday stretching routine and this video is going to take a while so I'm just going to jump right into the video and yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so I'm just going to be basically giving you guys a rundown of how my nightly stretching routine goes because normally I don't have time to stretch in the morning because... I'm just not going to do that because I don't want to do that in the morning. But I do try to do it at night just to calm myself down right before I go to bed. And also, it's really good for you to stretch every day. So, yeah. Okay, so the very first stretch that I do is actually butterfly. This is where you put your feet together. And then you flap. You flap your legs just like that. I like to do this to get my hips warmed up. It's okay if you don't get as far down because if you didn't know, I'm a dancer and yeah, that's why I stretch also. So I can be flexible because. Oh, I normally do this for a few seconds. Okay, uh, I remember this when I was little they used to say now what color is your butterfly and where are you taking it? And so today my butterfly is going to be purple and we are going off to Alaska. I know, pretty exotic, right? Okay, after I am done with that, I normally just push down and just hold it there for a few seconds just to feel the stretch. Okay, so the second stretch that I like to do is called a pike stretch. Now, if you haven't seen the stretch, it's basically where you put your feet in front of you <laughs> and then you just lay down just like so. I normally like to sit in this position for like few seconds just like the butterfly and just really feel that stretch because if you just let it happen it actually feels really nice and relaxing and then you can also flex your feet for some added stretching okay now that i am done with my pike stretch i always go into my runner's lunges and just go like that make sure not to put your knee on the ground just like that or else you won't feel the stretch as much other side Okay, right after my runner's lunge, I always like to transition into a little variant of the runner's lunge. This hits right here, your quad, the largest muscle in your body. And basically you just put your hip down, take your opposite arm as the leg that's in the back. So for me, if I'm doing a right runner's lunge, that would be my left arm. Swing it around. Then, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm grabbing my leg in the back and then just push your hip down. And you will really feel it in your quad. Right now, my quad is on fire and it hurts really bad. Other side. On this side, you're going to want to take your right hand. Now that I have both sides done with my runner's lunge and my variant of my runner's lunge, now I'm going to go into my splits, left, right, and middle. Now I do have my splits all the way down. Um, wait, let me turn the side for this. 
because that's kind of hard to see. But yeah, I do have all my splits all the way down, right, left, and then middle. So you just want to hold these for a couple seconds. I'm doing my middle one right now. And after that, I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I am in my middle split right now. And I'm going to go into my froggy. What that is, is basically just a reverse butterfly. Just make your feet touch in the back. See my feet? Going to make them touch. Just like that. It's kind of hard. And then just relax. Relax, relax. My hips all the way down on this stretch, so it doesn't really hit me. So if it doesn't hit you, uh, then here's a variant that you can try. You can push up and let your hips sink down from there. I'll show you from the side, actually. Okay, now that my hips, my legs, my everything, almost. I'm gonna do my last and final stretch that I do at night, and that's actually the hardest for most people, and that is the back bend. Um, you can start from the ground. Oh, my cat wants in. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, so sorry. Not my cat is in the video, but anyway, a bridge you can start from the ground or you can do it standing up. Whatever works best for you. I like starting from the ground. And then you just go like that. Okay guys, so that is my nightly stretching routine. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'm really glad that you guys made it to the end of this video. And yeah, I try to do this stretch every single night, but sometimes, you know, life happens. I don't get to it, but you know, most, most of the time I do have time. So my usual night, I'm eating while I'm doing my homework, while I'm stretching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button down below so you can be a part of my YouTube family. And if you want to be a part of my Instagram family, then go follow me at Ava Janine. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!